Hey Frank, I wanted to ask you about both the the shot itself and sort of how that play came about, what AD's read was versus what LeBron was trying to do and how Rondo was involved as the passer, and then also just the significance of the fact that he made it. Well, obviously huge significance. Uh, we're up 2-0 now as a result of that. Uh, just a big time shot by a big time player. And, um, you know, we have, a, we have a set where we can uh, basically isolate LeBron on a baseline out of bounds situation like that. Uh, and Rondo came up, whispered in my ear about, uh, you know, do, do I want him in there as the passer? And um, obviously I said, heck yes. Uh, he made a great read on it. And, you know, Anthony flew over to the wing you know, we talked about missing that shot, uh, that similar type of shot against Brooklyn right before uh, the hiatus. And, uh, you know, like I said, big time shot by a big time player. Frank, what have you noticed about AD's temperament and just him as a person, him as a player throughout your year of coaching him? And how can that speak to the moment that he rose to as well? Yeah, well, he's, like I said, he's, a, he's I keep saying it, he's a big time player. You know, uh, he, he really carried us through a, you know, a, a stretch where we were struggling to score. Uh, late in the third, um, you know, the, the, the combo of, of LeBron James and Anthony Davis is just, um, you know, if one of them's not going, the other one is. And um, there was a little bit of that tonight when they're both going at the same time. You know, we're, we're near impossible to stop. And, um, you know, those, those guys both uh, carried each other throughout the game and uh, obviously a big part of the win. Hey, Frank, this is Dave. Um, these late game situations have been part of LeBron's game over the last, you know, five, six years where he's become notorious for, for making those shots. And you have Anthony with the ability, you have got Kyle Kuzmi, another young player who hit a game winner against Denver uh, in the bubble down here. Uh, does that just give you more options? Um, is there a pecking order? What's it like as a coach, you know, trying to figure out what to do in those situations? It depends. You know, it depends on the matchup. It depends on uh, who's been going. Uh, it depends on the coverage. You know, the ability to have two, two targets out there, um, you know, and, you know, obviously in this, in this scenario with Rondo as the passer, uh, being able to read the defense and, and which is more open, you know, knowing both of them you know, have that ability uh, makes us a big threat down the stretch. So, uh, you know, happy for those guys to, to win a game like that. Hey, Frank, um, AD on his walk off, he talked a little bit about the the questions about whether he wants the pressure and the fact that he hasn't been in the Western Conference Finals before. Um, what do you think a shot like that in this kind of moment both can do for his confidence and also I'm wondering what you saw in his confidence and in his willingness to take on that pressure in that moment? Well, I, I've seen that from him all year. And um, you know, just because his teams haven't been good enough to reach this, this moment uh, doesn't mean that you know, he's not that caliber of player. You know, and uh, we saw that tonight. No surprise by me. No surprise by our whole group. And um, you know, hopefully, there's more still to come. Allie, sure. Kyle's doing. Hey, Frank. Um, obviously, a very exhilarating way, way to win. Um, but when you think about, um, you, know, you guys got 15 points in the one more, you had eight point lead with, with three minutes left. Are you sort of like, we we kind of got away with one there? Not really. It's a 48-minute game. Leads mean nothing against this team. They're a nightmare to guard. Um, give them credit for playing an outstanding basketball game. You know, even in the first half, while we had a lead, you know, they're they're playing well. And um, like I said, they're extremely difficult to guard, and they're they're well put together and they're well coached on a defensive end. This is a complete basketball team we're playing against. So, um, leads mean nothing. You got to play 48 minutes, and uh, you know, luckily we were able to prevail, to prevail down the stretch. Here, Jeff. Frank, I know that you're not going to put Rondo in the game that he was sort of ready. Were you going to put him in the game anyway? You know, did you guys just have a meeting of the minds? Yeah. Um, it was uh, it was on my mind. You know, as I was about to look for him, he came over as a different pass. I'm like, heck yeah, let's go. Let's get him in. Did you tell him the play on the way in? Or he knew the play. Yeah, he saw what we were in, the, the formation we were in. Anybody else have one, Frank? Tanisha, I'll throw it back to you. Okay, we'll do last two here. Um, let's go with Bill Flashkey. Yeah, Frank, the, uh, the TNT camera has called you telling the team that it was a Mamba shot. Can you explain that? Well, <laughs> we want to embody what Kobe Bryant stood for, you know, and, um, and honor his memory. 
And obviously, uh, you know, there's certain games where we're going to feel it a little bit more than than others. You know, when we have that uniform on, uh, I think we feel it more than others. And um, you know, that's that's a shot Kobe Bryant would hit. You know, so to me, you know, AD coming off, you know, that you know, just flying through the wing like that with a catch and shoot, with the game on the line in the in the biggest moment of our season, nothing but net. It's a Mamba shot. Yeah, Coach, um, you know, a lot of their comeback was done through Jokic really kind of getting switched on to your guards and, and working through that. How do you better control that moving forward, uh, you know, guarding when he gets switched on his guards? <laughs> it's, uh, like I said, this team's a nightmare to defend. You know, the, the, the problems that he presents, uh, along with Murray, along with their supporting cast, is a reason they're in the Western Conference Finals and, and, a, and a threat uh, to, to beat us. You know, um, we have to do a... Uh, I think we're, we're doing a good job keeping bodies on bodies, you know, in those switching situations. Um, but to try to get the ball uh, out, of, you know, to get it to get out of those situations is complicated, and uh, it's it's difficult. And you know, our guys are competing. We're doing a good job in a lot of situations, but not good enough. You know, hopefully this is one of those uh, scenarios where each game that goes by, we get a little bit better uh, each game, and uh, continue to improve with that. And hopefully. Uh, we're able to get another win, another two wins. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.